Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting true crime content. Today we're looking at an Isle of Wight prison officer who had a sexual relationship with an inmate convicted of murdering his baby daughter and wife who has now herself been jailed. Mother of three, Lauren McIntyre, has been sentenced to three years despite pleas for her to be spared prison time. She'll serve half behind bars and half on licence. The 32-year-old of St John's Wood Road appeared at the Isle of Wight Crown Court, having previously pleaded guilty to four counts of misconduct in a public office. Judge Roger Hetherington said, I have no doubt that because of the gravity of your offending, only a significant and immediate custodial sentence can be justified. The effect of this sort of conduct is to undermine the safety and integrity of the prison service and reduces the service in the estimation of the public if they are to have confidence in the criminal justice system. She admitted to willfully neglecting to perform her duty in HMP Isle of Wight, Albany, while also willfully misconducting herself between November and December 2018. Miss McIntyre failed to report her knowledge that a prisoner was in possession of a mobile phone, providing her personal phone number, communicating via mobile phone, supplying a copy of her photograph and attempting to facilitate the transfer of money from the prisoner into her bank account. Today, the court heard how a series of texts were exchanged between Miss McIntyre and prisoner Andrew Roberts on November 15th, 2018. One message sent to her by Mr. Roberts said, Today was really hot and risky, but I'm needing you so much right now. Prosecuting Mr. Gary Venturi read out her reply. It's so effing risky. I like it though. On November 18th, Mr. Roberts messaged, I have had hands on you, so I guess it's your turn. Later that day, Miss McIntyre told him, I still remember the first time you kissed me. The prisoner, Andrew Roberts, was convicted in 2003 of strangling his girlfriend, Louise L. Holm, and their eight-month-old daughter, Tia, to death at their home in South Wales. Miss McIntyre, who has five-month-old twins and a five-year-old, was also found to have given Mr. Roberts the personal mobile phone number of colleague Samuel Lader, allowing him to be assaulted. She also failed to warn Mr. Lader or the prison authorities of his impending beating. The court heard how Miss McIntyre had previously been in a relationship with Mr. Lader, who suffered injuries to his leg, ear, and blows to the head. Her defense argued that her actions began as an intelligence gathering mission before turning into something more. A letter written to the court by Miss McIntyre was read out by her defense, Miss Bryony Molyneux. She said, I do not know how to describe how devastated I am at my actions. I am aware now of the enormous impact this could have on the integrity of the prison service. This has shattered my life. Miss Molyneux revealed how Miss McIntyre had been to numerous therapy sessions at her own cost and her and her partner have been to couples counseling. She said, she is a young mother who is devoted to her family. It is right to say her family would be devastated if the court was to pass a custodial sentence today. Miss McIntyre's partner described her as a devoted mother and warned of the impact jail time could have on her three children. Lauren McIntyre, a mother of a baby, twins and a five-year-old was jailed for three years and she'll serve half of it behind bars and half on license. She said that Miss McIntyre also claimed that the relationship began as an exercise for her to uncover intelligence that led to something more, although the prosecution has disputed this. She said that Miss McIntyre was a woman of previous good character. The prisoner, Andrew Roberts, was convicted in 2003 of strangling his girlfriend and his daughter. He fled the scene and was arrested five days later. He was 22 years old when he was sentenced to two life terms at Swansea Crown Court. What do you think about Miss McIntyre's excuse that this started off as an operation for intelligence? Do you think there are punishments fits her crime or should she have gotten a longer sentence? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share and leave any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments section. We love to read through them all. And if you're new but enjoy UK true crime content, then subscribe to see when our newest video releases. And as always, stay safe.